or syscall is present on uh, on 4.1, it should actually also work on the next major release. Yes. Right, so we actually have security. The, these limits are, are enumerated in the SIM PDK for ESXi 4.1. Uh, some examples are things like listening on a socket. Um, what else? Uh, forking. Uh, that has an implication on API calls that fork. For instance, Pierre actually forks, right, um, versus emitting a, 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 an, an error or emitting an error directly in line. Uh, things like that, right? A user world is separate. If you're asking if two separate user world commands share the same space, they do not. Right? They're, they're, you can think of them like a process. Okay. But. Right. So to, to give you a, a stepping back a little bit, this is discussed in the ESXi internals uh, talk that, that Olivier uh, Cremel is giving as well. But to give you an idea, a user world is just another schedulable world that runs on the, on the ESXi platform, just like a VM. What does that mean? It means that we have constraints in scheduling things and hard walls between them to make sure that they don't violate each other. And it also means that we rein them in to make sure that important workloads uh, run, meaning VMs. So that's why we don't want to give you three gigs of data to run your management app. So uh, how else would you want to get started here? Well, you'd use the compiler. Uh, you'd try to run it on, on vSphere 4.1. You copy over the binary to the ESXi 4.1 uh, host and see if it runs. See, you'll get a meaningful error if it doesn't. If you'll get like E not supported or E not implemented, right, from, from your, from your uh, library call. So again, this is a good way to get started and actually just start poking around about what's in that user world environment. This is especially useful if you've never worked with ESXi before. I strongly encourage you to start doing